Hey everyone, good morning and welcome to another episode of The Daily V. Today's topic is the word, the topic, curiosity. Now, have you ever heard of the, to or the not the topic, the, the statement, curiosity killed the cat? Now what that really implies is that if you're too curious about things, you may get yourself into trouble. Now that may be true on certain things, but let me tell you something. Curiosity by definition is your desire, your desire to, to want to know or understand or learn something. Strong desire that you want to know or understand, or learn something, or learn something. You see, I think that some of the most successful people in the world are very curious people. By curious, I mean they're always wanting to learn or understand something. They're never satisfied with just saying, oh, so that's how it is. I guess that's how it is. You know, they don't make those statements. They want to know more. They want to understand more. And I think that curiosity or that spike of curiosity causes people to not succeed in life. Uh, that sp the lack of spike of curiosity. The lack of spike of curiosity. So let me tell you what I mean. So for an example, there are so many people out there today, we're in the mortgage business, who want to buy a home, right? And they think that the way to find out if they can buy a home is by going to a mortgage loan officer or to their banker, right? Wherever they bank or, you know, or going online to, to Rocket Mortgage or wherever, you know, who knows, you know, there's, there's, there's a few avenues that I can think of that are very well known that you would go to go figure this out. And the honest truth is, um, well, that could be the first resource, if you will. But if you really wanted to know if you qualify for a home, you could just Google, how do I qualify for a home, uh, to finance a home? And there you'll find things like, well, in order to qualify for a, phone, for a home loan, you must determine what type of loan you need. Is it going to be a government-backed loan or a conventional loan, not backed by the government? Uh, conforming or non-conforming okay if it is government backed how much can i put down okay and you would say it'd be three percent is it an investment property how many investment properties do you own you, you now l let me kind of step back here and tell you i know i'm talking about something that's probably unrelated to the word curiosity but what i'm getting at is if you were curious enough you would find the answers without having to go to someone else and see the ability to find the answer to the question to the problem to the to the item in front of you if you will that right there is what separates the winners from the losers it's what drives successful people further it's what builds confidence you see, it sucks depending on someone else to give you the answers when you can certainly find the answers yourself. Like when people go to a person to learn how to lose weight, right? Oh, I, I'm just going to go down there. There's a shake bar down the street. And you know what? They just give me a three shakes a day. I stop eating anything for a week and I'm going to lose 20 pounds. Well, yeah, you probably will. <laughs> the results will come if you don't eat food, by the way. You will lose weight. Just to be clear, for those of you who didn't know this, you will lose weight if you get on a shake diet. Why? Because you're not eating. <laughs> Just to be clear. But let me, let me kind of go back to where I was going with this, okay? You can lose weight on a shake diet. You can call Rocket Mortgage um, or go to your bank and ask about a mortgage. You can do so many things by... Just, you know, trying to just ask somebody. But the, the strongest and most compelling thing is to figure it out yourself. So let me tell you something. Just like the shake person selling you a shake to fix your problem. If you just Googled, how do I lose 20 pounds in the next 60 days? You'll find 30, 50, 100, 1,000 ways to do it. Some will be shakes. Some will be fasting. Some will be meals. Some will not be meals, but, but here's what you need to do. 
once you find that there's a thousand ways, find the one that makes the most sense to you. And there is no shortcut. Resourceful, curious people know there's no shortcut. You gotta learn, you gotta put in the time to understand, you gotta do the things that people don't wanna do. And that makes you so much more successful. You know, in, I, in every business that I run today, the one thing that makes people stand out from the others is when somebody gets curious and they say, let me find the answer. You know, those people that I see that do that are the ones that don't ask necessarily, we'll call it simple questions, they ask complex questions. It's the, one, it's the people who, it's, it's the team member who decides that they wanna find, they see a problem, they find a solution, right, online, and then they apply that solution in their business, and thus that gives them the confidence to be able to get promoted, to get help. I think, I, I think that's, that's a differentiator between successful people and unsuccessful people, curiosity. And if you're not curious today, let me tell you something. It's not necessarily something that you don't have. I believe we're all born curious. Think about yourself as a kid or think about any kid that you know or have. How much trouble will they get into? How many things will they do to figure something out, you know? How many how, how many kids burn themselves because they want to, they're curious. How many kids get hurt because they're curious? How many kids take apart something because they're curious? How many kids go off and wander because they're curious? What we do as adults or parents, what we do is we condition them to not be curious. We suppress that by saying, don't do those things. Don't think like that. Don't go that way. You see, those things that we do suppressed our curiosity. And maybe that happened to us as kids and now we're suffering those consequences. So here's, here's, what, here's the takeaway, okay? I want you to be curious in life. Without curiosity, what you settle for is what we call the, gosh, there's a good word for this and I can't come up with it right now, status quo. It's what is. You settle for what is, not what could be. You settle for where you're at, not where you could go, right? You don't grow by just accepting things. So what do you do? Get curious. Say, I need to know the answer. I gotta find a different way. That seems to be a problem. Let me research it. I don't need to call anybody. I'll Google it, I'll YouTube it, I'll audio book it, I'll figure it out. And at the end of the day, once I get all my information, I get everything I need, I'll go confirm it by talking to an expert just to make sure I understand it correctly. So I wish you nothing but health, wealth, success, but most importantly, freedom, guys. Have a great day.